So, hello everyone. I hope you had a great Sunday so far. Um, I personally had a very great day. Um, today is uh, Muttertag in Germany, which is um, the day of the mother. <laughs> and we had a, yeah, it was a nice cozy day. We uh, were out um, going a bit in, in the, in the, um, in the forest and then we got something to eat. So as I, uh, as I um, teased it earlier, I want to show you and, um, uh, and uh, introduce you to the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances that I own and what I personally think about them and the brand in general. Um, maybe something to mention first is that I'm not including the uh, Maison Francis Kirk Jean fragrances um just for your information this is a niche house and the perfumer uh, of these fragrances is uh, like um uh, the perfumer of the jean Paul Gaultier ones so uh, i didn't include these ones so i think um let's just go for the obvious ones that most people already seen probably in store and yeah um, i think i will spray them all on <laughs> in this case um, I think we will start with um, the very, very classic one, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. Um, it is, um, I wonder if I can see from, from which time it is. It is, I think, the first uh, uh, um, bottle I have from this fragrance. I have uh, three or four of this exact fragrance because of reformulations. And... I think this was the first one I bought because it's rather empty right now. Maybe you can see it here, like <laughs> the juice is coming close to, uh, I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> yeah. And this one is like, uh, this had a funny story. Like I told, uh, I, uh, I already told the story in another video, but I was in, in, I was searching for this fragrance. I was really searching for it because I, smelled it on so many guys or I didn't even know if it was a man's fragrance because it smelled just just amazing I couldn't couldn't categorize it more so I thought I go out to the perfumeries and try to find it I really did not find it um, um, I tried it with uh, with uh, Jill Sanders son I thought that's it it was not I tried it with Job, um, uh, Job Jump it was not that either uh, but once I was, uh, it was a very, very random thing. I just, uh, I went, I went to a grocery store with my father. And um, the funny thing is because of that, that I finally found this one. I know this whole story still. My, my grandmother was there and we were going to an opera later. So I was at the grocery store because we had to buy something. And I have often seen already to this, at this day, I was like 19, 20, this bottle. And I never tried it, so I tried it on and I thought, hey, wait, that is it, that is it. That's the thing I'm searching for years now. And yeah, it was just, that was just, that's why I can really recognize, uh, I can really remember everything of it. So let's spray it on. Yeah, this is heavy. This is beautiful and heavy. It is like very minty, very strong, very uh very yeah uh, it it draws a lot of attention so if you go out um uh, you will get smelled with that one um and also for dates i think there's just uh, i think for dates it should work fine because it's very sexy very kind of heavy tonka beanie heavy minty manly but the cho the 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 possibility is that your uh, that the girl you're dating if you're a man um um, in this case, uh, already smelled this on previous boyfriends because it is a very popular one. Many people have it, so yeah, just be aware of that. That you might that she might say, "Hey, you smell like my ex," and that, maybe that's not something you don't really want to happen. I don't know. <laughs> maybe no, I don't think you want that. <laughs> so, coming with the next one is actually. Um, a limited edition which comes as far as i know it, i could be wrong in this one comes back every year in a different version i think the first version of this was uh, called jean paul gaultier le mal uh, popeye edition of that um 
ca cartoon character, you know, that, that, that big muscly guy with that huge biceps there. And yeah, um, uh, and the version I have is the Superman edition of it. It is supposed, it seems like it is the exact same juice inside as in the Popeye edition. Um, I think it is the case, I'm not too sure, but I think it is the case that you can also buy it today. I think I'm not sure what what um, version it is these days though. So let's play this one. This one is um, um, also, it is, yeah, it is, uh, uh, it is, hmm, it's hard to explain. It is very bubblegummy, it is very light, yet strong, and it, It has like a, you can you can tell it is a Le Mal a flanker. It is it has DNA, but it is a lot better for the summer for very high heat situations. The longevity, however, ah by the way, the longevity of this one I think is still great. There were like rumors that that um, uh, that uh, reformulations destroyed it. I cannot say that. Uh, like all my bottles I ever tried had good longevity. Um, maybe it's just my skin, but I don't know. So, uh, and this one has a bit lighter longevity and projection. It's like, um, it's like a summer version. It's not too equal to that one. So you cannot say, ah, oh, okay, uh, it doesn't matter which one to have these two because they are too different for that. Um, way easier to wear, way heavier, but still also easy to wear. Like you, you basically, every guy from 16 to, 30, maybe, maybe, can wear it without being seen as, as the guy, who, the old guy who wants to get a younger chick. <laughs> so coming at the, at the third place um, is um, Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. And now I finally know the, the prominent note in that uh, for, in, in English, and it is a very uh, prominent peer note. Like it's very fruity. It is um, super seductive. It is super sexy. The projection is amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, like I got like, um, like ah, oh, you smell so great. Like uh, that was so funny. Like um, it's it's really. You might think when you smell this one, oh, as a man, wow, that is too sweet. That's a women's fragrance. But you know what? Um, it is might it might be true because many reactions uh, are like oh. Can I wear this too? Can you give it to me? Can you gift it to me? Uh, but still it is like, if you can pull it off, the sweetness, because the sweetness is crazy big in that one, um, then it is a monster when it comes to gr grabbing attention. Like it is fantastic. It is a fantastic fragrance. I love it a lot. I will spray it also now. To be honest, this is almost with this one, my favorite of all the John Paul Gaultier ones. Oh my god! Yeah, this smells so good. Um, haters might say it smells synthetic, synthetic sweet mess, blah blah blah. I think it's amazing. Like maybe it's also that I try to not become a fragrance a snob because that is very. It it is just American to my in my opinion. So the. Um, the next one is Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence de Parfum. Coming from the name, you might think this one, uh, this one is um, like the ultimate parfum version of Le Mal here, which is um, uh, an eau de toilette concentration. However, the concentration doesn't matter always when it comes to performance. There, it's not easy to say that uh, eau de parfum is always longer lasting than eau de toilette it's just some marketing blah blah you have to keep that in mind so yeah le mal sense de parfum this was a very i'm not a fan of it to be fair it was um a bad buy from my side i bought it when i was in denmark because i was i was caught by the hype i made a video the last video yeah where i said don't follow the hype always and i I followed the hype because they said, "Oh yeah, it's it's like the 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 next level of Le Mal, the 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 the, the grand version of it, like its father." And no, 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 it's not. 
it's it, it, to me to my nose my nose uh, it is not very uh, close to that whatsoever it smells okay but i just don't like the vibe of it so i'm not going to talk any further about this i cannot recommend trying it out because it just hasn't got i would choose all of these three over this one because of different reasons but this one for me is besides the uh, the bottle which is pretty amazing in feeling just a disappointment for me so i'm not gonna go any further so in the last one i'm sorry to tell you people is a discontinued one as far as i know so you might have to grab it for a lot of money if you really want it the hype was extremely big there when it got discontinued and may, many people might already know what i'm talking about then and i just got it at the at the at a store in austria where i was studying uh, in kufstein and it is called uh, jean paul or just gautier uh, hoch zwei uh, hoch two i don't know how to say that in english like it is a very very rare one these days um so this is also a big one so i have to Okay, this one is like um, it. Um, the notes in that are just three um, uh, officially: amber, vanilla, and musk. So um, it is marketed as a unisex fragrance. It comes. It comes across very high quality. I must say, very yummy. Also very niche in my nose. Like, I really do like the vibe of it. Yeah, it is a great fragrance. Um, I smell the vanilla very much. The musk is very subtle, nothing like, like, like a sex sweat or something like that. And the amber is, of course, in there, a very beautiful mixture. But now the question, would I pay so much money as people want these days for this fragrance? No, it is nothing that the performance seems to be um, like gigantic, like very good, like nuclear, but it is, it is not something you will never be able to smell again in a, in a, in a, in a very close way in other fragrances. So. It is nice to have. I'm happy to have it actually. Um, and I have not worn it at all, as I can see from the from the from the okay, maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah. That was my collection of the Jean-Paul Gautiers. I hope you liked it. Um, and yeah, so I hope I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. So I have to think about an idea for that. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your Sunday and uh, I hope you're, the weather is better now, Jane. <laughs> Would make me happy if the weather is better now. So um, yeah, hope you're all fine and see you tomorrow. Love you guys.